shall we live? 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 3 and 6 We live in a such a way that no one will stumble because of us and no one will find fault with our ministry. We prove ourselves by our purity, our understanding, our patience, our kindness, by the Holy Spirit within us, and by our sincere love. Christ has commanded us to be His servants in this world. We are representing Him. When people see us, they should see Christ living in us. That is what Paul tried to do. He was trying to live in such a way that nobody would be able to discredit the Lord because of His ministry. But how? How could he gain the moral authority needed to help spread the gospel? He did it by living a pure life of godliness. He did it by being patient in his suffering, trusting God with his life. Paul's kindness and sincere love also went far in giving him favor with the people. All this was possible because the Holy Spirit filled Paul with love, joy, peace, patience, and all the other attributes that he needed to be effective in his testimony of Christ's love. Finally, it was Paul's sincere love that enabled him to win people to Christ. Today, let us go into the world that God has called us to minister in. Let's live the same way Paul did and help others to come to a saving knowledge of Christ. Picture yourself meeting with God. You sense His love for you and you desire to live for Him. In His wisdom, He decides to help you live for Him by giving you the Holy Spirit. Sense the indwelling Spirit in your life. Picture the Holy Spirit helping you live a life of love, kindness, and patience. Feel Him guiding you and giving you the strength to live a life of purity. Affirm that the Holy Spirit helps you live for Christ. Let's pray. Father, help me live like Paul. Help me live in a way that those around me every day would see something in me that would lead them to you. Amen.